Hey y'all, this is Big Black, Big Black Barbecue, and I'm back with another video. Today I actually got some products that I want to review. I got these online at Amazon. Uh, the first two I'm going to review right here, as you can see in the camera, that they're Killer Hogs Barbecue. Um, if anybody knows anything about Pitmasters, uh, Malcolm Reed on how, with How to Barbecue Right actually makes these. This is actually his uh, company's uh, spices. Uh, I've always been a fan, and I just wanted to try them. I've never tried these before, so that's what I'm going to do now. And then I also have this. Everybody's been talking about this, and I am I'm kind of interested. Kind of interested in it actually. It's uh, Stubbs Mop Sauce. For what I understand is that you're not supposed to season the ribs at all. You're just supposed to put this stuff on, and every hour you mop it with this, and they're supposed to be spectacular. Everybody I've seen has been like, mm, these are so good, but that's what we're going to be trying today. Um, I got some St. Louis ribs here. As you can see, they're already peeled in membrane. Uh, what, I, what I like to do with my seasons before, not a lot of people do this, but I like to dump them out just a little bit and taste it. Uh, uh, I just want to know what I'm actually putting on my rib before I actually try it. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to start with this, uh, the barbecue rub here. We're just going to open it up and dump a little bit out. And we're just going to taste it and see what kind of spices we get into it. Okay. That is a little sweet. And I can tell why it's sweet. If you see here. It has uh, brown sugar, sugar, and paprika. Dehyd but this is actually a little sweet. So that's kind of interesting. I'm going to try this uh, hot rub. Let's see what this has in it and see what this actually does. Oh, hmm. That is hot. It's actually quite, quite interesting, though, because if you look here, salt, sugar, brown sugar, it's about the same thing as this one right here, but I can definitely feel that heat in that. So that's interesting. And then we're going to try the Stubbs Mop Sauce. It's a vinegar-based sauce, and we're just going to see what it tastes like. Pour a little bit out here on the butcher paper. It's a little thick. For a mop sauce, which is kind of interesting, but then again, it is a vinegar sauce. Mmm. That has a weird taste to it. I really wonder how this is gonna actually how this is gonna actually work. This has a weird taste. This is gonna be very interesting. I'm gonna show you the back here and we'll see what's on it. Distilled vinegar, soybean, spices, paprika, just the normal type of mop sauce. That's really interesting. I'm going to have to listen in. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one rib with the BBQ rub and the hot rub. I'm going to put those both on one. Uh, I've seen him do it, Malcolm Reed do it a couple, a couple of times. You know, you put one layer on first, and then you put another layer on of a of something different and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slather the other rib in this stubs and I'm gonna put it on the I'm gonna put both of them on the pellet grill but I'm not gonna wrap these I'm gonna let these smoke low and slow for the whole time and every hour I'm gonna come out here and mop with this one on the actual stubs rib and then I'm just gonna use water and vinegar on an apple cider vinegar on the other one I didn't want to use any barbecue or do the 3 2 one method like discussed in other videos because I actually want to see and taste what these spices actually taste like on the rib without the barbecue sauce and without the brown sugar and honey that you would see in 3 2 one methods but uh, that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to start with this one first this uh, BBQ rub and all I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to just put it on there get enough on there. Uh, both sides make sure I rub it down. Okay, and then I'm gonna come behind it with this and All you gonna all you're gonna see me do is just put extra more on there Just make sure it's what's name and then I'm gonna let them sit. I'm gonna let them sit for a good 10-15 minutes just so they can permeate and get through that meat 
and that flavor. And then also I'm gonna do the same thing with this. This is gonna be interesting because this is actually liquid. So I think I'm just gonna let it sit on there, rub it in real good, and just hope for the same thing. And then I guess this is this more this will require more action when I get it on the smoker. But uh that's what I'm gonna do, and I'll be back when I get it on the grill. Okay, I'm back. I got my wood pellet grill primed. I'm running these at 250 for the whole smoke. Uh, mind, mind, mind the noise. I do have neighbors that are getting their lawn care together right now, but uh, I'm going to show you what these look like. Um, the killer hogs. This is actually interesting. I've only seen this a few times. But look how red this is putting this on now but that is extremely red that season has really gotten in there in just 15 minutes i just let these sit for 15 minutes but it's really gotten in there of course i got my smoker tube going but yeah that is nice i think those are going to really turn out good both spices is on there and then i'm going to show you the stubs this is kind of interesting too but this is just the mop sauce on here. There's nothing else. There's no seasoning or nothing on here. Just the mop sauce. It's got that little orange color. It's got a lot of pepper. But what we're going to do is that we're just going to let these go low and slow the whole time. I'm going to come back out here in a, every hour. And I'm just going to basically water and vinegar spritz these. And I'm just going to apply more mop sauce to these every time I come out here. That's all we're going to do. It's nothing fancy. All we're really doing here is we're just going to, we're wanting to see what these products are and how they taste. So uh, I'll be back in about an hour or so just to show you what I'm doing. And uh, by that time, uh, we'll see what we got. Okay, yeah, I wanted to interrupt my smoke to go over something. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments about this and I actually had to do some research about this uh, P setting on this uh, smoker on most smokers. Um, for what I understand, the lower the P, the higher the temperature, and the, the higher the P, the lower the temperature. What it does, from what I've been reading on Reddit and a lot of barbecue forums, is it tells your auger when to rotate. And that's what produces the smoke in the hot box. Uh, what it's actually doing is it's just it's adding a anywhere from 15 to, to 30 second timer on when to actually have those pellets move and as that is it allows the hot box to get hot and allows the pellets in the hot box to uh, smolder so you'll get so you'll get that smoke since I'm cooking at a low setting I turn mines if you can see here the P3 that means that it's not going to rotate as much. It's just going to sit there and let those wood pellets smolder until they can produce a lot of smoke. As you see here, I'm producing, even with the smoker tube, I'm producing the actual pretty good amount of smoke. I don't know if you can see it on a video or not because of how light it is. But that's exactly what that P setting's doing. If you put it on P0, it's going to feed a lot faster. And it's going to, it's basically for higher temperatures. But since I'm doing a low temperature, I have it on P3. So it's going to let those pellets sit in that hot box and smolder till they get really, 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 really hot and burn to where I can get an actual good smoke. But uh, that's just something I wanted to go over in the middle of this. Uh, I, I It was kind of hard to actually understand it. I, I had to watch videos, do a little research. But uh, a couple of guys got me together. Uh, thanks, Reddit. <laughs> thanks, uh, all the barbecue forums I looked at. Uh, but yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. I have mine's on P3. That's the highest it goes. A good thing about this uh, Landman wood pellet grill also is that the P set, the P button is actually a press button. If you look on your Traegers and your pit bosses, you actually have to remove a sticker and stick a needle down in there in order to change the P setting. Uh, they're basically just preset settings on when to uh, when the pellets is supposed to move from your auger into your hot box, but I just wanted to go over that Okay guys, I'm at my hour mark As you can see here, this is what I got. I'm gonna hold the camera up so you can look at it. Oh, what's the name? The 
that uh, killer hog actually had a nice color to it. And then over here, this is what we have for our, our stubs, mop sauce. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to spritz this one with just water and vinegar just so it won't dry out. And I'm gonna mop this one with the sauce that I'm using. Uh, we're gonna do this every hour. The next hour, I'm gonna flip them over and do this and, and actually spritz them both. Well, spritz this one and mop this one. And then I'm gonna re-season this one just a little bit, little bit on both sides. But I'm gonna show you now. All it is is just simple water and vinegar is what we're using. Oh, a bit too much. That's fine, but let's get those nice and wet. Then the other one here, we're just going to mop with the sauce. I got my mop here. You don't have to use a mop. You can use a basting brush or, or brush, a, a barbecue brush, but that's all we're doing. It's just mopping. Tell you they do smell amazing though for just being on here for just an hour but what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these run for another hour I'm gonna come back I must I'm gonna spritz this one mop this one again turn them over and do the same thing and actually reseason this one and I'll see y'all when it's time to eat okay y'all I'm back it's been about six hours took these things off and let them sit for about 10, 15 minutes just to cool down a little bit. And uh, I'm just gonna show you what I have. Uh, the back ones is was the uh, Stubbs mopping sauce and the front was the Killer Hogs. So I'm just gonna give you a preview of what they look like. That's the Killer Hogs. And then in the back side here, we have the Stubbs mopping sauce ribs. Now the only thing left to do is to taste them. Make sure you get a clear picture right there, just to look. Uh, let's see which one I'm gonna grab. This is interesting. Uh, I'm gonna grab this one right here. Okay, let's look. Huh? As you can see, we got a smoke ring. Not too dark, but it's you can you can see that the smoke ring is actually there. Now I'm gonna take a bite of this bad boy. Hmm. Okay. Comes right off the bone. I have to say, that is some good seasoning. At first, I was tasting like sugar, and I was like, "Oh, I don't, I don't want, I don't want all that sugar." And then I taste that spice. That spice kicked in immediately, and oh man, it is, it is good. It is <laughs> like that. It's like. I can't explain it really. It's like you get that that spiciness, but it's not too spiciness. It, it's not too spicy at all. It's uh, that sugar actually knocks it down, and the caramelization on the rib and everything, and the pepper is just amazing. I'll give it another taste here. Yeah, that uh, that spice is is right there. Is it's I can't I really can't explain it. It's it's some good stuff. Um, them boys that had a barbecue right was doing something amazing and Killer Hogs. Uh, I appreciate it. That that is some good <laughs> barbecue. Yeah, we're gonna go and try these stubs. Let's see. I'm gonna pick one here. I'm gonna grab right here in the middle. But you see, we got a smoke ring right there. It's a nice little defined smoke ring actually. And the smoke ring on the back. If y'all can see that. So I'm gonna taste this one. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, when I first tasted this by itself, with just the sauce by itself, I was wondering what the sauce 
actually was. Like it's vinegar, but it tastes like something like comparably to something that people have often. And the more and more I think about it, the sauce actually tasted like Italian dressing. I don't know why I'm getting Italian dressing, but that's exactly what it tasted like. But on this rib, I, I can't I can explain it actually and and it's and it's not that hard. It's actually a lot peppery and it's more of a of a Texas taste. Any of y'all who've had Texas brisket or Texas style beef uh beef ribs, yeah, it's actually it's actually that type of taste. You don't really taste that vinegar or the Italian dressing I was tasting earlier. But it definitely has that spice. And it has that uh it has that texture. It's it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, without using any seasoning, this is just a mop sauce. This is not no seasoning on, there's no seasoning on these uh, Stubbs mopping sauce ribs at all. But that is, that is actually pretty good. I, I was actually, I'm actually surprised just by mopping them that I was able to get this. What's name? I'm going to try this one more time. I already took two bites. Might as well take another one. Yeah. That is definitely something. So, yeah, I recommend both of these products. Um, you can both get them on Amazon. Uh, you can actually get the set of the Killer Hogs for about 30 bucks. And these stubs, you can actually get pretty cheap. Uh, you actually get uh, four of them for about $12. Now, since uh, I've already tested this and I got another bottle, I actually have two more bottles. Right here. And uh, what I'm going to do is that since I got so much love and support from all you guys, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, the first 15 people who like, comment, and subscribe on my video, uh, I'm going to put your name in the drawing. And whoever wins, I'm going to send you these two bottles. Uh, Y'all can taste them just like I did. Tell me what you enjoyed about it and what you taste about it. But yeah, just like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I will be, it'll probably be about a week or so. I'll do a drawing, draw one person's name out, get their email, and we'll discuss on how to deliver these to you. But um, I appreciate you guys for watching. This is Big Black, Big Black Barbecue, and uh, it's time to eat.